no fun when you're alone. But no matter what we're going through, together we can find our way home. So come on and sweep the world over, and everything will be just fine. You and I can wait until the sun. So come on and sweep the world over, together we can dream in time. And nothing's gone. Anyone who has a weak stomach, stick your fingers in your ears because this is going to get ugly. I'm only telling you this because I trust you. We were conned, we were ambushed, but first we were invaded. It's not every day you risk getting chicken pox for your mates, Kenny, but it was all because of the netball. Let's, let's. Frankie! So there was going to be this netball tournament. The Crescent Bay Corellas, that's us, and this team from Mangalore up in the mountains. This would have been no problem, except it's not chicken pox. Are you sure? How do we deal with chicken pox, Doctor? Give me a pen. I'll connect the dots. Girl. Uh, I'm afraid that Mr. Bilton has succumbed to the chicken pox epidemic. Hmm? Mr. Biceps oh. is our coach, and he knows his onions. This was bad news. Kim and Fiona are down with it as well. Huh? Two vital members of our team out of action very bad news. So I'll be filling in as coach. Disaster! How much worse could things get? I don't feel comfortable sharing my room with a total stranger. It's just for a few days, Bliss, and they can't stay with the kids who have chicken pox. Look on the bright she side. makes me sick. Did you see the way Charlotte Hammond was sucking up to me at lunchtime? She knows Mother's throwing my birthday party at Cyberworld, and it's going to cost a fortune. Like I'm going to invite her. Ugh. I don't think so. Sara Tiara and Alana Banana. Sara would give her eye teeth to be in the sleepover club. In fact, she'd give Alana's as well. We said no. Not just because she's lazy and selfish and a snob and basically evil, but because... Well, if it isn't the leftover club, this place is definitely going downhill. It was because she's a real pain. Look on the bright side. Having these mountain girls staying with us could be amazing. We could end up with a bunch of new friends. Frankie had a point. We were beginning to get excited. What we thought we were going to get was... I can't believe we're both Geminis! It's fantastic, isn't it? What should we do first after we drop? Where did your family come from? Newton in England. Then you rock! What will it be, Liz? Chocolate shakes, please. No more! <laughs> but what we got was... Dagmont. Nichols. These mountain chicks weren't just our opponents. They were our guests. We had to share space. That's when it started to get weird. <laughs> Something funny in this? <laughs> Room. I fixed it up myself. Really? I thought it was some kind of a joke. It wasn't just Frankie. We were all getting the treatment. Emily ignored the lens and hung out with the brothers. Oh, you've got to be joking. Rowan made Bliss feel like a fashion victim. Excuse the mess, Lauren. A bit of redecorating going on. New place, you know. No problem. <laughs> oh, and uh, here's that article we were talking about. I wrote this one on a very tight deadline. Your articles are just fabulous, Mr Cartwright. I could just read them all day. 
<laughs> Laura made Rosie feel like a stranger in her own family. Even Miss Nichols was copying it. Nichols, I'm um, Dagmont. Hope I didn't wake you this morning. Uh, not really. I thought I heard some clunking. Brought my own weights. I like to work out. Oh. By the way, thank you for the health drink this morning. The Dagmont smoothie has that little something extra. What would that be? Ground beef. And then it was my turn. Kenny, I'm very disappointed in you. Miss? Go over to the gym and clean up the mess you made. What mess? Don't deny it. There was an eyewitness. Just clean it up. I couldn't prove it, but my creepy roommate had set me up. Do I snore? If you did, we'd have chucked you in the canal by now. Good. Liz says I snore. If BJ said Kenny snore, we'd totally back her up on that. What? Too? But that's what they do. They say something evil and then pretend it was a joke. Or they insult you and say it was a misunderstanding. But why? What did we do to them? Maybe they're just shy. As, As if. if. I need a sleepover. I need it bad. Then start concentrating on the netball. With great teamwork, we make the final. We win the final. And then we celebrate with a mega sleepover at my place on Friday. Teamwork? We don't even have a team. Kenny takes this competition stuff pretty seriously, doesn't she? Yeah, she always has done. It took a while for me to get used to it when I first arrived. How long have you lived in Crescent Bay? We came out from England about six years ago. So I guess you know what it feels like to be the new girl then? <laughs> totally. Frankie, Kenny and Fliss were a really tight-knit group when I arrived. But when they found out what a wonderful person I was, they had to make room for me. <laughs> Just like we did for you too. Do you miss England sometimes? No, not really. I have great friends here, and my family's here. I miss my gran, but she promised to come and visit me this year. I guess it's not all that different from England when you look at her like that. You're forgetting one enormous difference. The weather. <laughs> Just when we were getting over the shock of losing our best players, we found out about the replacements. The nightmare was about to get even worse. Kendra Tam, have we got a surprise for you. Do you remember this voice? Well, if it isn't the leftover club. Oh, no. Yes, it's your new teammates, Sarah and Alana. No! To make up numbers, we had to have our arch enemies as part of the team. And what was even worse? They were totally useless. Uh, take five, everyone. Remind me why we volunteered for this. Being in the netball team is one step away from being in the sleepover club. We think the sleepover club is pathetic, don't we? <laughs> of course it's pathetic. But it won't be if I'm in it. <whistles> Breathing exercises, everyone. Oh, look. Sarah can't catch, she can't pass, she can't shoot. But she can still breathe. And change. Jump higher, Rowan. Another 20 sit-ups, Emily. These girls were superhuman. We were going to get minced. Ready? Set. Go. Gosh, look at that. You're so strong. I'm so hopeless. It must be all that horsepower. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe you're just a loser.
what's up with you? I'm still in shock. Seriously, we'd experienced last night. <laughs> Too horrible. I don't want to talk about it. We just found out the Marauders are all black belts in Taekwondo. Great. Thanks for that. Well, excuse us for passing on information that could be useful to our game strategy. Oh, yeah. And the Corellas B team? They just got smashed by the Marauders. 108 to 2. Oh. The news just kept on getting worse. We were going to play the Marauders the next day, and it was going to be a massacre. The big day dawned, and we were all pretty freaked out. <laughs> <laughs> The mind games just went on. Bad dreams. <laughs> and on. A lucky sock! I've got to be here. <sighs> Where is it? <laughs> and on. As you know, Fliss has this big thing about Ryan Scott. <laughs> Don't ask me why. <laughs> so when she saw Rowan chatting him up, Face it, we're so deep in gloom, we'll be lucky if we ever see daylight again. Where's Mr. Bilton when we need him? Is that a fashion statement? One of my men, you socks, is missing. Oh. I can't believe this. My tape won't stick. I'll have to cut my nails. I think my feet have swollen or something. Instead of swollen, guess what shrunk? We need help. Where are you going? The final starts in half an hour. Talk about rats leaving sinking ships. The team was a mess, and Miss Nichols was still trying to figure out the rules. It was time for the pupil to consult the master. Bedbug, my favorite pupil. What do you seek? The wisdom that will bring victory, Master. In the strength of the mountain lies its own downfall. Huh? The tall tree is lord of the winds, but the dung beetle rules the earth. Excuse me? Chicken pox or no chicken pox, Mr. Biceps was our only hope. Who is it? I should warn you, I'm contagious. It's me, Mr. Bilton. It's an emergency. Kenny, uh, what do you want? We're playing the Marauders today. Oh, good for you. We need help. The Marauders are bigger and stronger than us. Oh, I'm not feeling very well. We need tactics. Please, Mr. Bilton. Please. She just took off. She didn't tell anyone where she was going. But the game is meant to start in two minutes. This is not meant to happen. She'll come back. She's got a plan. She better have. If they have the height advantage, you have to stay low, play low. You got that? I think so. When does the match start? Now. Position. We're going to have to start the game without Kenny. We can't play the game without our star player. And we don't have a substitute. We're just going to have to make do! Unbelievable. Timing's never been one of my strong points.
going down. Yeah! Not bad. Do you do requests? <laughs> it's Kenny! <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. Listen up, new tactics. And then in the last quarter... You got all that? Kenny, isn't that your missing sock? <gasps> Rosie, you're walking like a lame duck. I can't help it. My shoes are too tight. Get them off. My sock fleeces tape. Those stupid bibs. Look at this. Sabotage. They've been messing with our minds ever since they arrived. Now? It's personal. Sneaky tactics in the last quarter, Nichols. I didn't think you had it in you. Face it, Dagmont. You've been hammered. You can pack up your dumbbells, shape up, and ship out! Invited to the celebration. We're in the team. My pass won them the game. It came off my head. They'll have to be nice to me now. If they don't want to look like creeps. We might not have won without them. Being nice to Sarah is a big price to pay. Fair's fair. Gotta do the right thing. This belongs to you. If you expect her to say thank you after all the dirty tricks you guys pulled. It was just tactics. You won anyway. 
No hard feelings? Isn't that your bus? Hey! Wait for me! She did have to spend a whole night talking here with Molly. Hey. She suffered enough. Hey, hey! Now I bet you're worried that after that win, we had to be nice to Sara and Alana forevermore. We were worried too. Until... They'll have to let me join their little sleepover club now. Give me six months and I'll take over. I'll run the sleepover club my way. Oh, I can't wait. Who said anything about you? I'm in two. Aren't I? Alana, no one's going to invite you to join the sleepover club. But you said. What sort of club would it be if we let anyone in? You better go find someone else to hang out with. Lose a few, Sara. You earned it. You came through for the team. Enjoy. Where are you going? You dumped your friend. We don't do that. We don't spend time with people who do that. So, we're going somewhere else. On your own again. All alone again. Penalty for raving while other people are trying to rave. Sinbin, ten seconds, go. <laughs> Five, four, three. Two, one. We don't put up with rubbish. We don't like it. Be cool. Be amazingly cool. Sleep over. Sleep over. Sleep over. Yeah. You're, You're going down. <laughs> it was a near thing. We were that close to bearing the hatchet with Sarah and Alana. And we've learnt that we didn't have to be scared of any mountain chicks. With the right attitude, we could beat any team that netball threw our way. With or without chicken pox. The dung beetle of the mountain is more than a match for the Lord of the Winds. <laughs>